Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Well, guys, an active radar tonight and huge changes to the weekend forecast, especially Sunday. The second half of the weekend is Cinco de Mayo. So this is going to be an important forecast to pay close attention to because it's changing a lot, and that's where I'm going to begin. We'll get to this storm that's dropping in over Kerrville, just to the north of Kerrville in northern Kerr County in a moment. But first, here's what we're tracking. A couple of upper-level waves that are moving across the state. Now, you can see East Texas, Northeast Texas going to definitely get a brunt of this action. But come Sunday, we're expecting it in South Central Texas. Take a look. Might be a quiet start, but as we get into midday, we've got two waves coming in. The first one could miss us to the north, but it does not look like the second one does. Early model data is indicating that by noontime, we're going to have a line of very heavy rain in here. This is Sunday at noon. So again, something to pay very close attention to and stay weather aware this weekend. Look at some of these totals that Sunday's rainfall alone can produce. See, because in the meantime, we're only looking at, say, pop-up showers. But look at this. I mean, almost five inches of rain could be down in Fredericksburg by Sunday evening, over two for us, Bernie, two and a half Kerrville, almost two at New Braunfels, two and a half San Marcos, over three and a half in Austin. And again, this would mainly be Sunday. Okay, so this is uh, definitely a forecast to watch. We're setting things up. You know how humid it is outside. 74 and cloudy, a nice breeze. It's a comfortable night in the city. 71 degree dew point, so the temperature is only three degrees away from the dew point. Remember, if we go from 74 down to 71, we have 100% humidity. The atmosphere would be saturated. All right, now let's get to the radar and show you what's happening. This is a real strong thunderstorm that is just now south and drifting closer to Laredo. Looks like it stays in Mexico. So this is the storm to watch tonight. We have this new warning that's in effect until 1045 that comes into northwest Kerr County. So you can see we're still several miles from Kerrville impact, but Junction is getting clobbered with very heavy rain. Now, while we're here with lightning, I want to show you a good sign. Notice the decrease in the amount of lightning. See that cluster and how thick it is? Look at how it's kind of thinning out just a bit now. That's a really good sign that we're losing strong updraft. The amount of lightning is a good proxy for the amount of updraft and how strong it is in a severe thunderstorm. We're also beginning to lose the hail core. While that was huge, and you can see the multicolors north of Junction, look how fast that hail core has shrunk. These storms collapse quickly. So there's a good chance this doesn't even make it to Kerrville. But again, we're going to be watching it closely because until 1045, we've got a threat right down Highway 83 and into Kerr County. So I still want to track this just to keep you ahead of this storm. We've got it at the Divide School just before 11, Kerr Wildlife Management 1109, La Hacienda Treatment Facility at 1130, Hunt, Texas 1131, Ingram 1142. I'll keep an eye on this after the show until this warning's over for you for sure. Severe thunderstorm watch is in effect until 11, and that includes Kerr County, Real County, Edwards County, even down to Maverick and, you know, Brackettville. But for us, that's not part of our nighttime concern. All right, tomorrow morning, I think we still see fog. We see some light rain in the forecast for Saturday. Then most of tomorrow is dry for sure. So if you're coming out to Holotus, and I suggest you do, we're having the huge Cornival Parade at 10 a.m., only a little bit of light drizzle. But as I showed you off the top of this weathercast, we've got some heavy rain in the forecast come Sunday, especially midday. All right, seven day from uh, San Fernando Cathedral, 87 tomorrow, 20% chance, but then we're jumping into a 50-50 chance on Sunday, and then we'll drop rain chances heading into the first work week of May. Look at the heat waiting for us. 93 Tuesday, we're not done. 96, and there's some sunshine finally by Wednesday. We missed the Sunday, Ryan.